was good last week in both the canoe and the kayak. Definitely. Um, did you know that she carried the flag for Andorra? I did, actually. I did know at that. At the Tokyo Olympics. <laughs> yeah, I remember her doing that. I think it's... That's um, not, not a bad performance at your... Uh, first Olympics. First Olympics to be carry, <laughs> carrying the flag yeah, for your country. Yeah, not bad at all. Yep. I think it's such a, an amazing thing to to do and that she got to do it. I mean, she definitely deserves it. Such a strong paddler and good in all uh, the categories she does. So I wonder if she's carrying it this year as well. Oh, wow, she, she's a really strong medal prospect. On her, yeah. racing, on her racing last week in uh, Augsburg, she's in some really good form at the moment. So uh, let's see what she can do. She had, oh, um, no, no, she's lost. Oh, dear. She's gone past the gate. She's going to have to go back. Yeah, she lost the balance on that stopper. Oh, how crucial is that going to be? How much time did she lose? Let's have a look at the, the, the next split time. We'll get an idea of how far behind she is. It's quite a way, I think, now. Yeah, that spin was good, but still just not as fast as Kimberly. So it's going to drop down number 17. Yeah, that's uh, and a touch there on gate 17. Gee, that's uh, gate 17 is proving a little bit tricky, no, isn't I it? I know. I was I struggled on that gate. I feel like that's where I lost my focus, and I can see so many of the girls doing the same thing. Yeah. So Monica Doria, who last year raced as Monica Doria Villarubla, but this year she's just Monica Doria. I guess it's more convenient for the size of the name on her boat. <laughs> maybe. Maybe because the commentators kept mispronouncing it. Maybe she's thought, oh well, I'll just change it. Yeah. Let's have a look now. I don't think this is going to be a top 10 time, unfortunately. No. no. Yeah, what a bummer. Uh, so let's see. Does that mean, I think that means Kimberly Woods has qualified.